of guys in that crush is on Didi. I'm talking about Kent. I find it hard to believe that a gay person would want to be a minister. Actually, a lot of my classmates at the seminary are gay. I mean, I don't mean to sound like a church salesperson, but the UCC makes a special effort to reach out to minorities. Oh, I remember. When I was growing up, it was all about helping Native Americans and African villagers. <laughs> I spent a lot of time in the church. True confession, my father was a minister. Uh, you're kidding. Uh, mine too. Wow, it's like a convention! And you followed in your father's footsteps. Yes, but becoming a minister isn't that easy. It's a lifelong process of growing into knowledge, faith, and vocation. Woo! Is that from one of your textbooks? Or maybe from one of your father's sermons? Well, I guess it could be either, but I wouldn't be quoting my father exactly. He doesn't really speak. He's deaf. Tell me he's black and I'll really be impressed! <laughs> Wow, and now you're saying the words that he could never say. <laughs> Somebody really stuck to the game plan, Lydia. I think we're all influenced by our parents. Yeah, totally. Like, my mom's a singer, except for she's just an amateur. Well, I won't deny that I have some of my father's traits. Once a week, he would take center stage in a flowing robe as the faithful gathered around to hear him speak. I basically do the same routine. <laughs> yes, except your crowd is usually drunk. <laughs> or how about this theory? Some psychologists believe that drag is a way of impersonating the mother in order to seduce the father. Maybe you don't want to follow it. Maybe you want to fuck him! Gross! Wow! Uh, 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 so, uh, did you have to go to church on Christmas Eve and Christmas Day? Oh yeah, it was a marathon. Yeah. I remember my brothers and I used to try so hard to be all sweet and nice. We usually fought like crazy. We'd do pretty good until about noon on Christmas Day, but by then we couldn't take it anymore, and we'd all blow up at each other something fierce. Yeah, sounds familiar. Fake smiles till lunch and then back to harsh reality. Yeah, my family too. My mom's a bitch. <laughs> Why am I not surprised to hear that? It runs in our blood. I'm a bitch because I was raised by bitches. Well, I think we're, uh, we never really do escape our parents, do we? <laughs> Amen. Uh, why were you looking at me when you said that? Uh, what? Are you trying to imply that maybe I'm a little emotionally unstable because of my unhappy upbringing? Uh, no, that's not what I was or saying. Or that I'm forever acting out in a juvenile and destructive manner because of that? Because if you are, I don't fucking appreciate it! No, no, no I think you're missing your back! I, was I think... <laughs> Imagination. Well, that's not very holiday specific. <laughs> you know, like Christmas imagination, like Santa Claus or the Bible. <laughs> okay. <laughs> My turn. 
G56, G is in gingerbread. Do you think it's fun? <laughs> Dee Dee, you've got G49. G as in gap, like shopping for clothes there. <laughs> Can't be tan. Uh, uh, B as in uh, baby Jesus. Okay, and then Felicia and 35. In as in nonsense. Christmas nonsense. Wait, what was the number? No repeating numbers. It's a rule. Break the sacred rules of bingo. Okay, O oh, seventy five. My turn. O oh, is an ornament, and then we'll go to D D N forty two. N as in nuts. <laughs> like cashews. Okay. Cat N thirty one. Uh, N as in nativity. Okay, Felicia B fourteen. Bah humbug. <laughs> Okay, and then we'll go to me. I've got G, G, uh, 50. G is in gift. Time for you, Dee Dee. Bye. Okay. Kent, you've got G47. Uh, G as in glory be to God. Felicia, B1. B as in baloney. Bingo. I can't hear you. Bingo. Oh, <laughs> Let me verify your numbers. Okay. okay. And yes, Dee Dee is a winner. <laughs> Dee Dee, you get to go over to the prize bank underneath the Christmas tree and pick out your special gift. <laughs> <laughs> Look what she's got. It's a decorative item featuring Jesus Christ and a crucifix. <laughs> oh, it, it's a joke. Better luck next time, Ken. Well, you can have it, so. <laughs> That's okay, I've got Jesus inside me. Oh. oh. <laughs> Alicia, I've got an idea. Why don't you take Aditi on a tour of your apartment? I'm sure she'd love to see her divine decorating skills. Do you like green? I guess. I'm one side up. This will give you a chance to bond with Dee Dee. And you with Kent. <laughs> Come on, Dee Dee, let's go. <laughs> so, Kent, that was clever. How you managed to weave so many religious references into our bingo game. Well, and, and Felicia managed to make her feelings quite clear. Now, don't let her bother you. She loves playing the provocateur. Uh, no big deal. I'm, I'm used to defending my beliefs. Oh, sorry, I don't mean to sound too preachy. <laughs> don't worry, I'm fluent in minister talk. Well, it comes in handy when speaking with your father, right? Well, used to. Before his Alzheimer's got really bad. For the past five years, all he's done, basically, is lie in bed. <laughs> he didn't even know if I was in the room with him. He died recently. I'm sorry. Oh, oh, it's for the better. I don't know why they held on for so long. Yeah, uh, ministers are tough to figure out. I'll say. Hey, more punch? I should have made the party a potluck. An homage to our Minnesota church upbringing. Oh, yeah, all the hot dishes and sweet desserts you could eat. <laughs> and you know what else I love? The holiday pageants, the costuming, and the spectacle of it all. And you know what else is great? Watching the collection plate go around and fill up with money. Because I figured that's how they paid my dad's salary. Sounds like you enjoy church. Well, compared to school, church was heaven. As the minister saw it, it was a okay if I was uh, gentle and soft. But you can only be a sissy for so long before everyone starts to get worried. According to sex experts, it was a sign of budding homosexuality. Do you mind if I ask you how old you are? Mm.